because it's, you know, a bit odd in the web community that we have a website. Um, but basically, the thing was, and Frankie really kicked this off, and he right back at the start, rather than do a sort of centralised website thing, we sort of great to communicate and collaborate on something. I'm just working out this tricky mouse work, so we'll get up in a bit. Um, so the idea is to run essentially a sort of collaborative community project um, to develop the website, not just as a sort of brochure, but you know, all sorts of extra functionality and features people might want um, to really support the community. And there's going to be a sort of parallel project um, that Glenn is going to lead, um, which will have more of a problems with e-commerce aspect to it. Um, and just to give you a bit of background in terms of, sort of where we are at the moment with DigPen, I think. Because when we say we don't have a website, it's not like we don't have lots of stuff going on online. There's obviously this um, Beyond Conference, which we're at at the moment. Um, and then we're also using a web for that, and also a lanyard. I think every time I move, I'm just going to be on um, And of course, the LinkedIn and Southwest Youth Developers Group, which I think these two are really the top places that we've already started. Um, we also have uh, the skill map that Frankie started. If anybody doesn't know about this, get in touch with Frankie, get yourself on the skill map. At the moment, it's just a Google Docs, Docs spreadsheet. Um, we also have, of course, Twitter hashtag, which is up earlier and everybody can use it. By the way, if anybody doesn't have a Wi Fi password yet, there's a whole load of little strips of paper at the back and plug yourself to one. Um, then you can connect and tweet. Um, we also have Frankie's fantastic dig pen and Twitter list, which brings together the uh, Twitter feeds of everybody who's um, taking part in dig pen. Um, I'm actually not sure if the paperly is still actually publishing, but the paperly kind of does it does, does everybody not paperly is does everybody not not paper anyway, the paperly is put into Frankie's dig pen list, and basically any links that are shared by anybody on Frankie's dig pen list um, get automatically. Uh, collated by the papering system into this daily paper that you can read, possibly if it's still actually being published. Um, there's also Simon Dingley set up uh, Yahoo Pipes, bringing together RSS feeds. I think it's, I'm not sure if Simon's still building that on, I don't think it's here at the moment, but it gives you an idea of some of the sort of ecosystem that we've already started getting in place at Digpen. Um, and the obvious thought is then, you know, to start trying to tie some of these things together because I, you know, obviously, you know, not everybody here was already aware of all this different stuff that's going on. And I think it's probably really tricky for new people in particular to get a grasp of the sort of range of what's happening. Um, so in terms of how building a network website works, um, you know, Andy and I at KM, over the years, have built quite a few websites for your classic kind of top-down funded business network. And it happens very much from this sort of central out way of working. So you have this sort of core team, a couple of developers, client, often that kind of top-down thing, the person you're talking to as the client isn't particularly industry connected. So you're all kind of making it up. And you come together for a central group, you build a little website, and then you uh, give it out to the users. And generally speaking, what then happens is the users go kind of Huh? <laughs> what use is this to me? And I think the minute sort of Frankie said, oh, do we need a website? I thought, oh god, no, let's not have another one of these awful network websites that's like a tumbleweed infested um, wasteland that industry never uses and isn't actually any use to anybody else. Um, if we're going to do this, let's, you know, try and make something useful. And also, this kind of very centralised model in which a core group eventually essentially tell the community what they need and what's good for them. Doesn't seem to be very much in the sort of dig pen spirit, um, which is much more about a lot of these sorts of ideas of collaborating with each other, quite a decentralized, this sort of buzzword, it's noted kind of structure, um, very agile, it's very grass move, roots movement, and it's very much about what do the people in the room want, not what does Frankie or me or Peter or the guys at Literacy think we ought to all be doing. So we really wanted to take much more of this kind of noted approach to building it, and I think that's where Frankie's idea of let's do a collaboration has sort of has real um, power. 
So what I want to talk about a bit today and what we're working up towards with Glenn, um, firstly is to get anybody together who would like to contribute to this project. Um, and at the beginning, if you don't know, you're not lining up to give days and days of your time away for free. We're very much thinking if, if you know, four or five, you know, ten, a dozen, however many people can come together, um, everyone can just hopefully put in a few hours and we can create something really great. Um, and in order to kick that off, the idea is that we're going to host a um, collaboration working day um, at the beginning of July. Haven't decided on what date yet because that depends on exactly when the people who would like to be part of that are actually free to take part. Um, we're going to hold it um, up in Town <coughs> or Dartmoor, probably, unless the, everyone says, oh, oh my god, we can't possibly do that. We thought, you know, we can write some code, go for a walk, go to the pub, have a cream tea, it will be quite fun. Um, Glenn is going to talk a little bit more actually about how the day itself is going to work. What I want to talk just a little bit about in this session, and I'm so hoping we might have a few more people here for this, but not to worry, is of course the really important part of all of this is that it's not even just that group of people who want to actually take part in the building and designing of this website, but it's about everybody around the outside. And where we need to obviously start is you guys at the outside telling us on the inside what you would like and what would be helpful to you. Um, and what I'm hoping we're going to spend whatever few minutes I've managed to have left on all of this um, is to just go through things and get you to just write down what sort of things would be helpful to you. And Glenn's just waving a piece of paper around yes, that's, that's it, that's the things that are good. Yeah, I've got bits of paper too. Okay, we have lots of bits of paper. There's all sorts of bits of paper. You can fill them in if you find useful. I'll come on to that in a second. Um, I'm not quite sure why next slide is going to be. It's always one of the slides. Um, but in terms of collaboration day and, and who can take part, I think you know pretty much anybody. I don't think you think, oh, I'm not a X developer. I don't have anything to offer. Um, you know, even if you're you know very much on the design side or very much on the content side, but you have ideas. You know, everybody is part of the community, and the website needs to support as diverse a possible range of people as possible from you know freelance developers, people working in house, people working in startups, you know, whatever your background is. Um, while being all quite you know flexible and open and it's all up to the people who uh, want to take part in exactly what they do. I think there probably are a couple of sort of basic principles just to set down that I think will be helpful to the project in the long term. And the first one is probably to try and build it on a sort of open source sort of principle of anything you contribute to the project, if you're contributing design or development, it's understood that that's done on the basis that you're essentially volunteering and contributing that work and aren't expecting to pop up in six months and say, oh no, that bit of code is mine, that bit of the design is mine, I won't get paid for that one. No dig pen can't use it anymore. Um, and my other principle is going to be, because um, I just love this quote, decisions are made by those who show up. I know lots of people have opinions about this, and when Frankie opened up the discussion on LinkedIn, you know, everyone instantly piles in, we should build it in this, we should build it in that, we should use Agile, we shouldn't, well, I no one said we shouldn't use Agile, but ultimately I think the people who are prepared to show up and actually help build these are going to be the ultimate arbiters of the decision. Um, you know, we're going to get in all the ideas from everybody here, but the ultimate filtering and what is actually going to get built is going to be down to the people who are actually prepared to build it. Hopefully, because we run it on an open source principle, um, the plan will be to put all the source code and stuff probably up on GitHub. You know, if you can't be there at the collaboration day, you're not out of it. You can come in and contribute to the code at any point and hopefully it'll be a sort of living thing. Um, what I'd like to just do now, your bits of paper might be fine for this. But basically just get ideas in of what people think the website needs to be doing. Um, and we can sort of finish this off as Glenn talks if you're thinking about it. <coughs> what I'd really like to do is I think because we're all web people, we can all probably think of you know cool features and stuff to build. What I think would be really useful for the group is actually to focus much more on sort of use cases and user stories. So that when the group comes together we can say yes, we you know this is what freelance developers need or this is what people working in startups need. Um, so, rather than thinking about this would be a cool feature, 
does perhaps, you know, as Glenn is talking in a minute about the workshop, I've got 30 seconds left, so I'm going to really speak up. You're thinking about what is the problem that Dick Penn website is trying to solve? What are the barriers to your business or to the industry growth in the area? I actually want to be really just self focused by thinking, what could a Dick Penn website do for you? Not how could it be cool, but just how could it actually be really useful to you? Um, Glenn has put together some sheets of paper and I have some little slips that I'm going to hand out. And the idea is to think about it just in the sort of very agile user story way, which I just think is quite a useful way of framing this. So you just, as you think of an idea, and you can just do this through the morning or over lunchtime and hand it to me, Glenn. <laughs> Put it in like that. There you go. Um, uh, Sophie, that's uh, uh, Specifically to do with another project. So these are running parallel. One's the website for Deep itself and whatever that will be. And this one will be something else, sort of keeping it quite open and open. My assumption, the people in this room and the Deep community as a whole are very backgrounds, possess a range of technical design and marketing skills, interested in furthering expertise and expanding knowledge. These were just for me originally, by the way, going to read from it. Uh, hope to connect with like-minded people, perhaps to find more work as a benefit, keen to collaborate and challenging and fun projects. In other words, want to be an active member of this community. That's what we're looking for. That's hopefully why we're here. Am I right? <laughs> hands up. Please be hands up. You're lying, just put your hands up. Um, <clears throat> being involved doesn't just mean standing and giving talks. Uh, the other options, as I see it, and hopefully as other people see it, it's not just about me, um, we need feedback ideas, just as uh, Sophie has said. So we're asking you to think about where you might fit in here. Um, but we're just the initial sparks that will hopefully be fun enterprise and work on activity. Um, what we need, well, people with open minds, uh, combined with strong opinions backed by skill and experience, obviously, but if you're not so experienced in the area, you still get involved because ultimately you're going to get a lot out of it. People looking to collaborate, not work alone particularly, even though we're not going to get together in a big room, this will probably be quite virtual with people working from, from afar. Uh, your time hasn't worked suits you. Willingness to share and see the bigger picture. Uh, just as Sophie was saying at the end there, this is supposed to be a community, and Frankie can give you a great talk on community if you've not heard that before. Um, but that is what we're trying to build here, not any kind of competitiveness or anything like that. Um, ideas, ideas, ideas. This is my project. Um, so what is it? One, opportunity to learn a lot. So we're not just asking for people to come in with the skills. Come in with the skills we've got, but you'll learn a lot more from the other people. You'll probably learn more than you give, to be honest. Um, to apply your new knowledge to your own work. So what you work on here, bring back into your own business, whether that may be, earn yourself better money from it, perhaps. Uh, to be involved in something exciting and worthwhile, who would want to do that? To meet great people with whom you may team up. Now this might be, Mark's already done this, he's gained work from this uh, already, but meeting new people, learning new skills, and actually being able to work with other people. If you do work at home, and a lot of people in this community seem to be freelancers work at home. So you can actually team up on larger projects that you wouldn't be able to do otherwise without having to go and be employed or you know, uh, do it any other way. So that's, uh, that can be quite interesting. Grow your own portfolio is an obvious one, and whatever else you want it to be. 